Hello there guys and uh, welcome to uh, an episode of Minecraft with me Professor Asus. We're going to create a new world. We're going to call it Tutorial World. Where I'm going to do all my tutorials. I'm going to make it a creative so it's a bit easier for me. And I'm going to type in uh, redstone is amazing. Um, I'm going to make it a super flat so it's easier for me. Okay, well that's quick. Well, no, it's not actually because it's still simulating. Um, yeah, because I've got the boring old default blocks, I don't want that. Oh, is, is, is it going to look like a load of slimes as well? Let's wait for the world to load. Put the sky. And it's a good way to get this to load. Uh, not that I think. Oh, look, it's a slime. Okay. As you can see, it's a bit easier, a bit easier, a bit nicer to work. So today, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to like your Minecraft. No, I'm not. I'm going to show you how to make a automatic wheat farm or semi-automatic if I wanted to make a fully automatic one it would kind of suck so for this you will need some way of plowing land so a diamond hoe or a wooden hoe or whatever um, compass can be quite handy sometimes uh, not that you need one and uh, if you're making an outside one you may want some fence and a gate uh, a, a piston or sticky pistons up to you with two I'm going to go for pistons it's a bit easier to get legit um, and what else do I need? I need a lever uh, repeaters are recommended but you don't have to and then it's a lot easier if you have repeaters. Gary sick. I also need some seeds. Shush pig. Shush line. Do you know where seeds are? Can't find sage. I can't even myself concentrate on this slime as well. They're pumpkin seeds. Are they 48? 48. Um, let's just open up too many items. Too many items is my friend. It knows where everything is. Too many, oh, okay. Close enough. 290. 295 even. Just get some seeds. And I would also need uh, a repeater and some redstone. Repeaters are recommended, don't know how to make them, <laughs> which is always helpful. Uh, something called Minecraft, if you look it up on there, I can't be bothered to look it up right now. I don't know what repeaters look like, there we are. So, first, we're going to try and reduce the lag of Minecraft. I don't really need to see what I'm doing right here. So first you're going to hold the land. Oh, first you actually need a water source. Uh, so ice. No, I don't want ice. I don't want ice. I'm fine. I don't need ice. I don't need ice. Oh, shut the fuck up, slime. So I'll, I'll get some water. Uh, and I want to go like that. And that makes me for water source. God, slimes. Oh God! Okay, no, I haven't. Okay, lols. Okay, so actually, no. What you what I want to do is I want to get some grass. Piece of last. I don't need gates at the moment. Okay. 
what I want to do is I want to make uh, approximately four. Let's use the best. Uh, and there we are. Uh, don't worry about that. Now I can uh, destroy that. And I can go across here. And I can put water down here. Because uh, that gives me a bit of this. And if I was making a genetically modified one, can we say why am I using pistons? That's just stupid. So basically, if I was making a GM um, wheat farm, which I generally usually make, you might put close them to blocks or something like that, or maybe some torches. You know. Go away, slime, please. But this is basically how to make a automatic point bomb. I just need to plow that land. Uh, pro tip as well: if you're doing this, uh, if you hold his shift, then if you walk over plowed land, it won't be destroyed. However, if a slime goes on it, it will be destroyed. So take your area off for the time being. So a creeper can blur this on the roof. Shouldn't be good. Which is also why I'm using too many items because uh, it allows me to change time to day. Okay. So now we've got our basic plot of land. Let's make the water system. So basically, this system works off of this. So we just make a tower, uh, and we make like um, this gallery side. We make like this. Um, now, I, now I'm in creative, so it's a bit easier. But there we are for me. So basically, what you need to do is you need to get three uh, or four pistons, like I have here. Line them up in a line. Uh, and then what we do is we need to somehow make like a little pool of water, like a little, a little reservoir. Um, God, let's, let's turn up the distance a bit. Um, so we like this, like this, like this, and that should make a little reservoir bit for the water sitting. Uh, like that. Of course, it's not done yet, but there we are. Oh, damn it. Mm. Okay. So, this is like the little reservoir bit here. Um, and then I suppose if I want to be really picky, I need to somehow. Okay, that's failed. Um, so basically then I go uh, boom, 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 like a little wall here, you see, a little wall, uh -huh. like that. I'm making it out of grass, we'll make it out of cobblestone or something. The most material I have here. Um, it's probably cobblestone, so you'll probably make it out of that. Then you make like water go down there. And your farm should flood. Okay, maybe not. Okay, what we do then is you just make like a little bit here and it should flood. You want, you, what you want the farm to do is you want to flood meant to flood. It doesn't flood the same wrong. Which in case there is here. So basically if that happens then you need to make sure you put a block on, on top of the wall. So, yeah. You need to make sure there's water underneath as well. Otherwise the uh, or at least eight blocks away from the uh, place. And now if I hopefully replace my water
just like that. That should do that it creates like a nice little line there. Uh, now you're probably thinking what you've done is made is uh, made a massive flood, but you've made like a quite a huge flood. Here. So now what we do is see these pistons we had earlier. Uh, we just put a block under there. We put another block and another block like that. And we get our repeaters. This is why they're recommended. And then you set them like that. And you get your redstone. And you go boom, 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 and boom. And now, if I was going to be really crude, I would just leave it like that. Do that. And the piston would pull. And that would stop the water. You see? But the uh, piston would stop the water because um, it's amazing. Now, if I just now this is advantageous for what for what we're doing here it's, um, right so if I just plow this land I get some wheat growing here just put bone mill in a minute to represent wheat because it is wheat but it's not going to show up as wheat it's getting dark I'll do, I'll, I'll do an automatic melon farm next time as well um, or semi-automatic um, actually the syndicate project did quite a good, good one, I like that, but the other one's a bit too complicated I think. So, anyway, uh, bone mill. Right down to bottom. Okay, so what we do now is uh, to represent the week's grown many, many days later. Minecraft days this is. You come back and your wheat has finally grown. Which is good. It hasn't been destroyed by creepers or other mobs like skeletons and spiders and <coughs> god knows what might come out and hide, but there we are. So there we are. We've got all the wheat there. And um, I'm just gonna oh no, we haven't got a load of wheat. Okay. Whatever, let's just carry on. Oh uh, yeah, there's a lot of shit out there. Okay, and I just pull the lever, or push the lever in my case. Ta da! As you can see, the wheat and the seeds have blown into the little pool. And there's a Japanese uh, sign there. I wonder what martial art he knows. And we'll just shut off the water, and we will collect the loot. And that, guys, is how you make an automatic wheat farm. Of course, this is very basic design. You can adapt it to how you like. Um, but there we are. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you a simple one I made in... Um, raw craft if the server is running. Uh, yep, raw craft running, that's fine. Okay. So I'll, I'll just go home. I wanna go home. Right. Very laggy. Why is the server so laggy? <laughs> Lols. The server is very laggy. Go to my lovely house, my lovely, lovely house with my lovely dog and my lovely bin, my lovely secret room with secret farm. Oh. I've just destroyed my ladder. Oh well. Walls. Okay. So my secret enchantment room and my automatic wheat farm. As you can see, I've used sticky pistons this time, but. Um, same principle as well. Flies. Um, hello. Okay, there we are. Water flows. Server is quite laggy, don't worry about that. Okay. So I hope you've enjoyed this, guys, and I hope I was a help in some ways to you in building your wheat farm. And I will see you uh, for pre geek craft if you watch it, or um, another tutorial video in the future. 
Uh, the next one scheduled is uh, for melons. So um, enjoy that. <laughs>